Hello, I am Flash Isaac, and you are welcome to Flash Learner's BECE Computer Science Past and Likely Question Series with Flash Isaac. In this series, I shall be releasing a lot of episodes to take you through past and likely questions you shall encounter in computer science so long BECE is concerned and how to answer them easily without fear or favor. Now, to get the best out of this class, I highly recommend that you get the Flash Learner's BECE application. Get the mobile version on Google Play Store or visit flashlearners.com to install other versions. If you are watching this on YouTube, I will share a link below to the Flash Learner's BECE applications and as well link to the next episode of the series. This is the first version we are taking care of and it is from the Flash Learner's BECE application. It says, when a computer system processes data, it provides dash to the user through the output units. Now, what is a system and what is computer? Computer is an electronic device that is capable of accepting data, processing data, and bringing out the result as an output. Now, look at this. Computer is an electronic device, which means it is not an electrical device. In computer or in electrical engineering, you have electronic devices and you have electrical devices. Electronic devices, they are devices that use low power. Example, your ZS TV, your TV, your Go TV, computer, laptop. They are electronic devices, they use low power. This is why it is easy for your uh, DSTV, DVD, television to get burned or to blow up under high voltage because the requirement is actually low voltage or low power. Electrical devices, they use more power or they require more voltage to run. For example, fan. The higher the voltage or the higher the power, the more the fan will spin. The um, air conditioners. Air conditioners are electrical appliances. Refrigerator. They are electrical appliances. They require more power to operate. Now, don't mention generator because generator is not among them. Generator is simply a device that converts mechanical energy to electrical energy. Why motor? Electrical motor is the opposite of generator. It converts electrical energy to mechanical energy. So, computer is in this category, electronic devices. Now, it is capable of accepting data. What is data? Data are facts. They are raw, not processed yet. For example, if I say something happened, you see police trying to interrogate you. When did it... Uh, when did he come to your house? You say, yesterday, 2 p.m. When did he leave? 2.30 p.m. When did you notice the, that the item is missing? You say, okay, uh, 2.31 p.m. Now, when he was leaving, did he tell you, you say no. Now, when you called him, what was his reaction? Now, the police is trying to collect facts. When he collects this fact, I said this fact, he's trying to process. Okay, if he actually, why will he come to your house, leaves your house without telling you? Now, why would you call him and he's not picking? So he tried to bring out all those facts to conclude that wow, this guy actually stole this item. These are my reasons 
So computer accepts data as fat. You see the computer keyboard, you type A, you type B, you type C. At the end of the thing, it compares all, all the things you've typed, it processes it. Okay, this is what this user is trying to do. So it accepts it. After accepting, it begins to process the data via CPU. The computer has central processing unit. The central processing unit is the brain of the computer. That is where information is being processed. For example, you type 2, you type times, you type 10. That means it accepted the input. When you hit enter or uh, go, it begins to process what is 2 times 10. We say, okay, when it's 2 into 10 places, it begins to calculate, 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 and gives you the result 2 times 10, 20. So that process of thinking, gathering the result, is referred to as processing. So the CPU processes data, and we have GPU as well in computer systems. While CPU is the central processing unit, GPU is the graphical processing unit. So GPU mainly has to do with graphics. If you are playing games, doing video editing, editing generally, it makes more use of graphics for rendering videos and games. This is why a computer with dedicated graphics is better for gaming and for video editing. So now, in computers normally these days, the CPU can be Intel CPU, Intel. So you see different Intels. Intel Core, uh, Core 2 Duos, Intel Pentium, Intel Celeron, Intel Core i3, Core i5, Core i7, Core i9. We have Intel Core i9. So, and it begins to grow. For Apple, Apple, they used to use, uh, they used before now, Apple laptops make use of Intel CPU. But they've moved to their own CPU, which is Apple Silicon M1 chip. Apple Silicon, which is Apple M1. So, we also have, uh, AMD processors, AMD. So all those are central processing units. So they try to improve the processing power of the computer. Now, after the processing, what happens? Then for GPU, you have Intel GPU, you have NVIDIA GPU. Then you have Apple M1 GPU for graphics. After processing, you get the result as output. Computer has input devices. Input devices, they accept data. For example, keyboard, mouse, they are used to accept data. Output, you see the display, screen, or speaker. What do they do? We are recording audio. Hey, I will blow today, I will blow tomorrow, I'm a big boy. Now, after that, you play. You get the feedback or result via speaker. Speaker is the output to output what has been processed. Screen, when you type stuff, you see the results on the screen. So the screen is an output device to show you the feedback. Um, printer, you hit print, it brings out the result. Those are output devices, okay? So with this, we've been able to answer the question. When a computer processes data, it provides feedback to the user through the output unit. It is for feedback to get results. That is feedback, not inputs, not knowledge not software and not windows other stuff will be explained later so this brings us to the end of this episode i hope you found this helpful i am isaac and this is flash Tenors. feel free to subscribe to this channel tell your friends about the flash Tenors series and don't fail to check out my other videos a link to episode 2 out thank you